All right, it's Sunday today. Um, I would guess it's around two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon. It's pretty hot, um, but I was sitting at the house. I was gonna take today off and let my body rest up from all the walking and digging I've done, but I couldn't take it. So I came to a spot I haven't been for a while. It's been at least two months since I've been here and I've always found stuff when I've been here. So there's been two high waters on it. It ought to be pretty, pretty good. So we're gonna get down in here. We're gonna do some hardcore looking and uh, we're gonna see what we can get. So if you see this, um, I found something and I probably will down here. I have high hopes for today. So um, I'm getting close to where I need to go over the bank here. So uh, I'll get back at you when I, on my first find. Later. All right, I've only been down in here a, a few minutes and I got a real nice nutting stain already just laying out. got a real deep hole in this back side and it's a nice size when I can even feel them in the side it's a good piece yeah multiple holes on that two in the side several on this side get some grinding on it there cool piece I was right for coming here where I came over the bank too there's a crappy one and I think that's a crappy one there on this side Right there, you can see the hole. Um, man, this place is loaded. I'm just gonna leave this here instead of carrying it. It weighs like 10 pounds. Get it on the way back. But I'll get back on my next fun. Later. All right, I'll let you look at this for a second. Um, I got an artifact in here. And this place is just awesome. Look at this Flint Ridge Flint. I've picked this just out of these, uh, out of this screen right here with the point. Um, look at this pink piece. There's just, I have a whole pocket full of it too. That's just one, this is one screen, maybe six shovelfuls of dirt. But right up here, it looks like one of them little Amos points. And I found one here in last winter, a little black sharpened down one, and I've showed it before. But here's one right here. It's not the greatest one, but it's pretty nice. It's an Amos over a 9,000 year old little serrated point. You can see the serrations on the one side. This is just like an average or a last one. Lots of them are a lot nicer, and the first form of them, they're only about, well, twice as big, but maybe another a half inch, a point and a half, like longer. But that's pretty nice. I'm happy to get that little tan river pebble, real old little point. Um, that's a good sign. Nice little edge work on that, but that's a nice little point. I'm happy to get it today. I'm gonna have a good day. I haven't done, you know, nearly as many screens as I usually take. Um, it's burning up. It's like 80 some degrees. I'm ringing wet, but this is worth it. I'm gonna find more stuff in here. So I'll get back on my next fun later. All right, here's a tip for you. You can see what this looked like. Um, you see a little rock coming out. I see a piece of flint up there, actually. There's a piece of flint ridge right there. Um, and I saw this stuff coming out. And what I'm doing is, real nice flint ridge. I just picked a little spot. And here I'll show you a little, what my technique is. You can, there's rock and stuff right in there hear it that's the stuff I'm scooping up and you can see right there's the clay layer there's only about this much stuff and it's Indian rich it's falling right out of the bank there's flint and fire rock all through it I'm just scraping it up putting in my screen and you can feel the rock hear it there's look at that right there where I'm digging Pink Flint Ridge just fell right out of the sand. Real nice flake. I'm gonna find something else. I'm gonna sift this down, see what we got. I'll show you as soon as I sift this down. See all the dirt there is in there. There's already one flake. See how many we can get. I'll fill it and screen it and then I'll show you later. 
All right, here's what this uh, this screen looks like. And one screen got all this flint. Most of it, there's some black and tan, but there's flint ridge here. All of this. So I'm gonna find something here. That's a lot of flint for one screen. Real nice looking stuff. Well, anyway, I'll get back when I find something. Cause I am, later. All right, I'm back for a minute. Um, I'm done on that place. Um, it's horrid hot. But I'm gonna stop in another place. Just hit it real quick. A couple little places where I found some cool stuff, but lots of flakes of flint ridge, real nice translucent stuff, pinks, whites, tons of agates. There's lots of cool pieces of flint here. Um, found this too, didn't film it. It's a pink flint ridge blade, it's busted. Uh, it would have been cool. It's real nice material, like preform. But I found this little point, which is nice. It's a real old piece. It's not associated with this flint ridge. There's bird points here, a real tiny little bird point culture and um, flint ridge table rocks. I'd say that's what this stuff's from. But there's old stuff on it too. We got that. That's pretty nice. Well, anyway, I'll get back if I find anything on the next place. Later. All right, I'm back. You can see what I'm going. I've just been scraping, like I said earlier, right on the edge here. There's a little bit of gravel and stuff here, and I've found stuff here before on video, but it's been a while since I've been to this spot, too. But this is like my third screen. I got a butte, and it looks like it's Flint Ridge or some real nice flint. I'll let you take a look at this, see if you can see it. I'm right here. It's laying right on that clay. You can see right here's the clay, and there's only like an inch of stuff with gravel and flint in it right on. It's come right out of this bank right here. So let's wash this off. See what we got. Oh man, this is nice. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, this is a nice point. This is worth the trip. This is beautiful. It's like orange peach flint ridge. Oh yeah. Beauty. Yeah, I'm satisfied now. I've been hitting it. Whew. You can see here, I got my stuff. I'm just right in this little place and I found stuff over in there, but this is the extent of this site. From right there to right down there. This is it. And I found probably 20, 30 air edge here, between 20 and 30. And you know, after I leave today, I won't be, we'll be able to find nothing doing this because I have it sifted out. Come back six months from now and hopefully some more stuff after the high water's washed out of that bank up here. But man, this is nice. This is a good one. This is why I look at the river and not the plowed, plowed fields. This would have been all dinged up in a field. This is a beauty. Yep, translucent baby. It's a good point. It's a damn good point. Um, it looks kind of like a Dina related, but if not, it's some kind of an archaic stem point. Look at the edge work on it and the serrations. It's not an Adena or a Hopewell, it's something older. Not ground air. No, oh, it's ground in the notches, so that's not... That's nice. Just the overall form of it, I would say that's some kind of a... archaic point. Nice little red spot there on the base, that's a beautiful piece of flint, and look at the edge work. Great piece. Well, anyway, I'll get back. Later. All right, I'm back. I finally got a point here, another one. Uh, it's been at least 30 minutes since uh, the last find, a nice flint ridge stem point. But uh, I'm almost to the point where I'm going to leave here and go around the corner here, the bend, and try another spot. But I've got this sifted all of it. But I got a point. I got maybe two more baskets again. See if you can see it. Right here. Nothing to brag about, but a solid point. Some kind of little archaic corner notch. It's Gray River Pebble, it looks like. Yeah. Pretty nice little point. Has a minute tip dang, but pretty nice. Um, My battery's getting late, so I'm going to cut this short. Um, I'll get back. I'm going to stop one more place and then get out of here. I'm satisfied. Later. All right, I'm on the second spot. I, I've already walked it all. I marked this. Um, I've got a piece of flint 
exposed and this is where I found like a double notch like knife thing it's black it's real cool but I got a black piece of flint laying out and I only found a couple flakes here hold on I'll show you Coshocton flint too it seems like all the flint here is Coshocton and river pebbles let me see um I picked up the this one but these are from the other place but this piece of Coshocton right there and I got another piece too it must be in my other pocket but let's uh, get down on this and check out what we got here. Um, it's right here. It kind of looks like a little point to me. You can see right there, it looks like the notches. Oh. That's a point. You see it? Right there's the base. I thought it was. Can't tell what this is. The sand's real. There's lots of boot waves. This is just washed out today. Huh. It's a little point. Looks like a little pentagonal. It is. Huh. Might have a little base damage, but that's pretty nice. Look at that pentagonal. Nice edge work. It's shocked and flints, what it looks like to me. Yep, lightning lines in it. Not bad. Almost looks like that base is perfectly flaked like that, but I'd say it's just snapped. That's a nice one though. Still is nice. Well, anyway, I'm heading home now. I'm exhausted. I've dug for probably four hours today. So, uh, get him and relax. Hope you enjoy. I'll get back. I'm going to take tomorrow off, definitely. I feel like I got hit by a bus. So, uh, I'm going to have to relax and take some hot baths and stuff. I'm going to be sore. But anyway, I'll be back when I find something else. Later. Alright, I'm back. Um, I'm back home. I'm beat. Um, I just wanted to see these points again real quick. That's just nice nutting stain. It even has two holes in the side here. Two in the bottom. Like three in this side. Pretty nice. Lots of flint, um, there's a broken point, um, busted one, impacted, uh, lots of flakes, um, this is the find of the day, real nice archaic stem point, here's another nice little one, a pentagonal, little base damage, and this, this is, I like this as good as this point for what it is, it's an Amos corner notch. And the radiocarbon dating on them is 9,900 years before present. So it's a really old piece. And it's really cool because I have a lot of them. And this is going to get right in the frame. So, successful day. Um, hope you enjoy. I'll get back. Later.